fools! You do not see what I see. Oh my god, that's like me when I figured out Death Hound. Mm. All right, welcome to the Free to Play account. The last episode, we had got Executioner for our first Ancient Shard poll, which was kind of disappointing, but whatever, okay? He's an OG, what people consider the old campaign farmer. You would use him because of his counterattack here. He would defense himself plus counterattack. He would constantly go attack, attack, attack. In order to get it to work, you kind of need the cooldown, so it's gonna be up most of the time, but whatever, we're gonna try using him for the time being. Now, I got him to four star, because I'm probably gonna end up using them as food to five star my Aetho later. And what I'm gonna do is get these pieces of gear all the forge, just because it's really, really cheap to do that right in the beginning. And where we're currently at in the campaign is we are actually on stage 11. So we're getting really close to being able to pull, pull, pull a void shard, which is going to be what we're gonna do today. We're gonna clear through and complete the campaign and pull a void shard. Oops. Be pretty exciting. Hopefully we can do it without too much issue. I tried uh, farming War Maiden earlier. If you guys know War Maiden, she is farmable in uh, stage seven, I believe it is. I was working through and unfortunately we did like easily over an hour of runs on live stream, you know, twitch.tv slash stars microtransaction, like that plug, I snuck that right in there. But we did easily over uh, an hour of runs, didn't get her. So we started to actually run out of energy and I was getting to the point where I was like, well, I don't really want to keep going on this because we're going to run out of energy. Now, people have told me that Dune Strider actually hits really hard and not to crunch her, so we'll give her a shot. My Aetho is currently here. I need to get her Ascension up still. You can see this will be great. If you look at the skills, look at this. All I needed was one buck here. That's all I wanted. But of course we have this and we have this. So. Highly, highly unlucky there with the books, but it is kind of what it is. Obviously, I'm not gonna use the epic books for it. I need to get her the four star. We only have one other four star with his executioner. We will use him to crunch in eventually. And we're probably gonna end up crunching this guy, the crusader here too, which means we need to level some more two star foods, et cetera, et cetera. So we have a little ways to go. But if I show you where we're actually at on the campaign, okay? So we go to the campaign, we're 128 stars because I haven't been three star in this. Some of these were actually hard and I needed full teams. So you see here, stage seven, find the Mr. Meesings fellow. We got this guy, we got her for the heals. And I think uh, we could put in Dune Strider, but currently we don't really have like fantastic options. If I'm going to be honest for the last person, we just don't have anything that's too great. So I'm just going to use the heals for the moment. And Commander also kind of gives her some turn meters. So. We'll do this. The bummer with Aetho is I'm noticing her AI is really bad, so I'm kind of having to manually play to guarantee that the AI is gonna do the correct thing. Because a lot of times she would just basic right off the bat, and I can't really figure out why. It doesn't really make any sense. Like, it's very obvious that you shouldn't use the basic there. I don't know why, but they would just basic. It won't use her A3. If there's multiple people up, sometimes it refuses to use her A2. I just don't really know what's going on. So I've kind of been having to play manually. I'm thinking maybe when she gets her Ascension, it was like her AI's program for her Ascension or something. And so maybe that, I don't even know if that makes any sense, you know? So I'm trying to figure out really what's going on with the AI of Aetho. So long story short, I'm just having to play manually. Plus I wanna show you guys where we're at. So normally this is where we get stuck, okay? Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. We're gonna get stuck here once again. Sometimes I make it the third wave, sometimes I don't, okay? Uh, we could, if we go in here, we could try taking Executioner, we could try leveling this more. If you look at the gear here, here's what we have, these boots. If we try to upgrade the level, right? We're getting really, really close, but it takes all of our silver, and now we're out of silver once again. Okay, we can get another eight speed there, which will actually help. The gear here, we could get more attack percentage, we can get more flat attack here, but the gear isn't, it's not too terrible to start. We have, if you look at the total stats here, we have 77% crit rate, which isn't too bad. We're getting pretty close to that max crit rate, and she does get plus 15% on her A2 once we have her max ascended, which we don't, or I should say three star ascended, which we don't quite yet, okay, which is a little disappointing. So one thing we can do is since his artifacts aren't quite the best and he's low level, we can just go stuff some of these one star guys in there, or at least as much as our silver will let us. Look at that, we can only crunch one, which does absolutely nothing. You can The silver is the biggest problem, man, I'm telling you. Thank God for the events. The events and the campaign and all that kind of help. There we go, some greater arcane potions. You know what we'll do? Or check this out, because we just got potions. So now what we can do, if we actually go to the dungeons, and right when you start the game, all the dungeons are open. So it's, we should probably get the best out of this. And let's see, we'll do stage four here. Let's see if we can chew through this. And let's put execution there for the drop him. Let's put someone who can get some experience. There we go. 
If we can do this, then we can get her and get the extra 15% crit rate, which will put us at 92% crit rate for that move, which hopefully should help us on the waves getting to the boss. And that might have help us have more HP by the time we're on the boss. And you know, that will help us get through it. So what I'm gonna do is here, I'll farm the potions with Cinder, and then we're gonna try the campaign again, because I really wanna beat the campaign and get the Void Shard. All right, I'll talk about this real quick because it keeps offering me this. I'm not gonna buy it. This is a free to play counter. If you're watching this and you're wondering if this is a good deal, this is $50. You get a void shard, 200 gems, 200 gems, ancient shard, 300 gems, 300 gems, sacred shard. Let's think, let's break this down, okay? This is a total of 1,000 gems and uh, a, a thousand gems. I would value that probably about 10 to $12. To, the reason is, is 900 gems is 11 ancient shards, and I would pay a dollar per ancient shard if I was trying to buy them in bulk. I think void shards, I would probably pay a maximum of $3 each for. So if we look at this, $3 plus $3 is $6. Let's say $10 for the gems. 12, if we're being generous, is 18. A sacred shard at the absolute max is no more than like $10, and that's stretching it, in my opinion. So, I mean, we're looking at probably $30 worth of value if we're stretching it. Uh, and I, I would not pay $30 for this regardless. Yeah, I mean, even if this was on my main, it's just not, it's just not like a, a good feeling deal. So this is a pass regardless of who you are, in my personal opinion. Now, wild card pack offers, on the other hand, are actually something different. So though, if you don't know what wild cards are, when you hit a level, like you know how we just hit a level, it's gonna give you an offer that's RNG. Like it's it's gonna put together a random offer. A lot of times it's $10 and, or it's going to be weighted to however much you're spending. And more times than not, they're a decent deal. However, a lot of the, the only ones that are a good deal are ones like this, where it's like four pieces of speed gear, $10 right in the beginning that's actually pretty insane to help you like just throw down your main guy you could get completely unlucky and all of these could roll terrible okay however the weapon and the helmet alone the primaries are fixed so it's really just base stats which are kind of nice you get 500k silver 250 energy and then you know the luck of the draw on the chest and the boots they're not terrible i don't know if if this would be a buy i mean the one that i bought when right when i started my main account like literally i was like a month into the game they offered me this wild card pack offer but it had a shield and it was $10 for the shield set. And I bought that one because I, I didn't even know what it did. I just wanted to know what a shield set was back right when I started the game. I was really into the game. So I just tried it on. And I actually don't regret that one because the shield set's weird. It gives you so much HP. And cat's climbing the green screen. It gives you so much HP shield in the beginning. It helped me get through the campaign. I didn't realize like that one set of gear actually helped me as much as it did. This one, this is a maybe. But I just wanted you to know how wildcard pack offers work. Typically, they're only worth buying if it's like the shards or an insane gear deal from what I've seen. I just wanted to real quick go over the pack offers. It's not something I'm probably gonna do every single video as uh, they give you a lot of pack offers, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys a general opinion on the ones that they were offering me that are relevant. If you want me to continue to do pack offers as they become available on my free to play account for the people that are either new to the game or potentially interested in evaluations on pack offers, just leave a like on the video. If we get a lot of likes on this video, then I'll know that's a response from the audience telling me, yeah, we do like those pack offers. You guys are wondering, I've been farming this thing for a minute. Like I got 13 of these so far and we haven't got a single medium potion so far. And this is the first stage where it drops them. So it's probably pretty rare, like maybe greater than, I mean, or less than or 10% or something. I'm not, I'm not getting very many, if any of the, actually I haven't even got a single one yet. So, and I just want to say real quick, like from doing this as well as I've been farming dragon and stuff, um, this is not the efficient way to do it. So if you're actually watching what I'm doing right now and thinking, okay, the first thing I need to do is like, go to stage four and farm. This is not the best thing to do. What I'm trying to do here is I, I want to get my Atho as strong as possible and build her just completely jam it up, okay? It's best to be like efficient by this and efficient in the beginning is doing your missions, challenges and quests. And like, whenever you don't know, what should I do? You just go and you look at your missions where it says like, you know, get gloves with attack percentage or whatever, right? And it tells you what to do that's normally the most efficient thing to follow. It's it's not to go out and just max one character because what happens is you end up spending ton ton of energy. Like you see, I'm almost out of energy again. And the only thing we're going to achieve from all of this energy besides a little bit of experience on all of these guys is just that ascension, okay? I, I'm really trying to min-max one character because I really want to see if Atho is going to be good enough to carry us all the way through basically everything in the beginning. Well, we didn't get a single medium potion, but you know, Whatever. So let's go ahead and go here. Ascend. Now we need to mix them. One, two. Oh no, that's 40,000 silver, which we don't even have. 
Can we sell some of that lovely gear we farm that we don't need here? Two star stuff, we don't need two star. Anything that's two star should be going fairly early into your account. I see a lot of three star stuff here. I'm gonna sell a couple of these helmets because we have a four star one there. Four star, star but flat HP. Ooh, four star crit rate with speed, we're gonna keep those. Three star helmet, we're gonna sell that. Uh, three star gloves that are flat HP, we're gonna sell that. Three star speed boots, we'll keep those though. Um, okay, that'll give us 52,000. That should do it. Now we can go here, mix the potions together. Once again, mixing and all that, this is not efficiently, you should not do all this, okay? Um, you should do it based upon your missions and whatnot because that's how you get the most out of your value. But there we go, now we have that done on her, okay? Oops, I went large screen there. There we go, and we still don't have what we need, unfortunately, in terms of the skill on her. See, we gotta work through this dungeon too because we can clear stage four of the Spire's Dim, five of the Arcane Keep on auto, five of the Spirit Keep, four of the Void Keep, five of Magic Keep's the one rafter where we're at, and then place decreased defense debuff on this Guardian while beating stage five of the Force. You know, we might actually be able to do all of these, to be honest, uh, we're fairly close. I'm not sure how we can actually do on the, the Spider, to be honest. I, I haven't even tried the Spider yet. Why don't we take a peek? Uh, let's see what we can do. I know Armager is supposed to be pretty fantastic for that. Shout out to Code Brew for breaking the top the top news there or whatever. So let's put that guy in there, Executioner. Again, we gotta have crit rate for that though, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, let's do, let's just throw some garbage in there. Let's just see what happens. Hopefully we can outpower it and, and this dude has like five health, you know? Just kill him. Let's just see what we can do here. Ooh, my lovely lady is texting me. Okay. Okay, let's play manually, because apparently Aethel doesn't want to use her A2. Lovely, thank you very much for that. Okay, AoE. Nice. And uh, can we get the attack buff? How about that? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Armager, get him! Free. Get him! Okay, get ready the... Oh, yes. Satisfying. <laughs> That is so satisfying to see. I mean, I, I know it's not amazing, but it is so satisfying to see the big thump. Come on, don't you go healing on this. Don't do it. Come on, Armager. Survive. All right, well, he made it for a while anyway. All right, shields up. Oh, that's a mistake. Now they're going to all attack him and it's going to take forever. Okay, come on, Armager. Or wait, Armager. That's not Armager. That's what's his nuts. All right, basic attack. Come on, Atho. 21,000. Now, you know what? If that's all she's healing, we might actually have this. To be honest, we might be able to beat stage one. There's no way we beat stage four of this. We're going to have to actually work on Armager. You can see that works, though. All the spiders were chewing on him. We m now I just want to beat this stage as a matter of, like, pure dignity. Is that the right word for it? A matter of principle. That's what I'm looking for here. AoE. There we go. Every time, every time you get that AOE, it feels so good, man. It's, it's satisfying, is that the term for it? Okay, here we go again. Get, get the big guy. He doesn't have his heal yet. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I think we got, we got this, right? Big hits. Like, you guys know Heartless Halo? Shout out to Heartless Halo. Every time I see that guy, it says big hearts. He's like, big hearts, big hearts. That's prob probably a reference no one's gonna get. He's a streamer for Raid Shadow Legends that I talk to occasionally. Okay, smack again. Hey, come on, we can beat the... Oh my god, the poisons. Come on, triple crit and end it. We got the triple crit, but then end it. Don't heal. Don't heal. Ah, oh, the poisons. Come on. Don't you do it. Oh my god. Okay, no, we're fine. AoE for big heals. Yes. Okay. Decrease. Resisted, of course it was resisted. Basic attack, damage. Ugh. Okay, more spiders. Man, if we don't if if we don't kill her like right now. We're gonna we're gonna have something else coming. Oh no, the weekend. Ugh, uh, uh. Survive? There's no way she's gonna make it through the point. <sighs> No! Dude, are you kidding me? All that? After all that? No, 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 we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. 
God! All right, I guess what we're gonna go do is level our War Priest a little bit so we can actually finish this campaign. I wanna get this Void Shard, man. I've been sitting here just messing around forever on this stupid campaign. I can't even get the Void Shard yet. I mean, come on. I don't remember ever being more... You know, it's weird. When I played the other free-to-play account and I put Skull Crusher, Code Heart, uh, Santa Claus, like all that right at the beginning, it just it was so much easier for some reason. I don't, I'm not sure why. All right, we're completely strapped for everything. It's get in there and fight or, you know, give up. So here we go. What we should do is, you know, I think about it, we should probably get that War Priest to four star because she's sitting on three star, isn't she? I did get some of her gear up and I'm kind of hoping these two can like pull it together, you know? Could be the two to handle. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Okay, AOE. All right. Three times a random. We'll take it. Okay, she's tanking. Can we kill him before he attacks? Wow, look at that, look at that, man. Twice in a row, okay. That's fine, all right, he's dead now. Can we get the heal? Now let's see if she can heal better. There we go. Get some, well actually it doesn't matter because it's based upon the other person's HP, isn't it? Okay, let's do the defense here, just in case they attack him. I don't really want him to die yet. I need him to be there for the second wave. So if I AOE here, that's a mistake because I need that for the next wave. So let's, there we go. And then can we kill him now? Dope. So now stun him, please. Nope, that's fine. Can we kill him? Okay, that's fine too. Ooh, 1,500, that's, a, that's not fine. That's a big chunk. All right, here we go. So now, now we can do the attack up and the AOE. Nice. And then, you know what? Can we kill Renegade? Because Ren oh, freeze is fine. I'll take a freeze. Um, since she's frozen, actually, let's try to get rid of this guy. Ah, we tried. Ooh, bummer. Okay, so she needs to die. I mean, if if she goes, we just die. So but his turn meter is, you know, his turn meter is more full. So let's get rid of him. Now, let's see, let's do it attack up. No, no, that's dumb. We should try to kill Renegade. Okay, now kill her. There we go. And then hopefully we can just kind of sustain through this and we'll have our AOE. This is about the best we've gotten so far. Uh, you know what, I think we should try healing, honestly, because I, yeah, because he's going to eat, yeah, because he's going to eat that, and then when we go to the next wave, hopefully he'll be full. Okay, are they both full? Okay, this is good, this is as good as it's gotten so far, so, we got a triple crit, okay, can't really ask for much more than that. Can I get a freeze on this guy? I'm getting everything I'm asking for. I got resisted the stun. So now the question is, do we attack the main guy and wait for the AOE and try to tank them in order to get the KO with the AOE? Or do we think that we can out-sustain? I think we can out-sustain, so we go for trying to kill the secondary guys, right? Because we have lifesteal. So there, now we are, the amount of damage that's being incoming is reduced. We do the attack up for the extra damage, and which means we get more heals on her. Okay, that's fine, and we just basic our way through this. Now we can get the bonus turn. Can we get triple crit again? Okay. Ooh, defense down's a little scary, but that's all right. I wonder if this crit is gonna do more. Nah, see, we shouldn't do that because of the chance for weak hit. That's probably really dumb. Okay, please triple crit hit. Ooh. Ooh, man, do you know what? That might have been the mistake of the day. We have to crit. All right, we did it. Mortal Never stand. doubted it for a second. Lord, the demon priest as he prepared to deliver his final assault. Dead okay. heroes cannot change the fate of this world. His point. <laughs> but in a tremendous blaze of might and fury, the company swiftly dealt a crushing blow. Who's the company? As the demon priest lay mortally wounded by the fires of hell, in a strange demonic voice. Oh, we're the company. Fools, you do not see what I see. Oh my God, that's like me when I figured out Death Hound. Then in one last fiendish effort, he thrust out a hand and conjured a vision in flames of hellfire. It was a vision of their death. A hey, garbage, a, hey, oh, ooh, that's actually a piece there. You know what? Don't mind if I do. Let's sell these boots, though. Woohoo! 
All right, now we're on to the final one. Oh, we get more the lore. Sinister prophecy of the demon priest. Please All right, I'm bored. I don't know why I actually thought I'd be interested in that. Okay, here we go. Dude, now we actually get... You know what? I'll be back when we got that void shard, baby. And actually, no, I won't be back with the void shard because this is my very last run of energy. I have to get attack percentage gauntlets in order to get 50 free energy. So what I realized is I'm just going to have to YOLO it. I only have enough for one run. Hopefully we get attack percentage gauntlets or else it's over. What are these? Crit ray. What are those? Those are not attack percentage. So if you look here, look at that. Out of energy. I need to complete this if I want or more energy. So that's going to wrap it up for today. If you want to see more videos of mine, click here on the left or click here on the right and subscribe to me if you ever want to see me again and hit the bell to be notified of the next video. Uh, join the Discord to, to chat with me in Discord. Join twitch.tv slash microtransaction to watch me on Twitch. Uh, what else do I have? What can I plug?